Some of the papers say Prince William is going to have a gap year. He's announced that he is to leave the military after seven years of service. He's expected to spend more time on royal duties and his chosen charities. Last night, he and his wife, the Duchess of Cambridge, attended an award ceremony recognising the work of wildlife conservationists. The Duke told guests that his new baby son is already showing a few animal instincts. As you might have gathered, Catherine and I have recently become proud parents of a baby who has a voice to match any lion's roar. <laughs> this is actually our first evening out without him, so please excuse us if you see us nervously casting cheeky glances at our mobile phones <laughs> to check all is well back home. Uh, a sentiment lots of people understand. Um, so, is Prince William getting to grips with parenting? He's obviously is. Uh, but what about ne what's next for his career as well? Ian Lloyd is a historian and author of William, the People's Prince. Uh, morning to you. Thanks very Hello, much Louise. for joining us. Um, so, it's going to be quite a change for them, isn't it? Because they've been living, haven't they, the beginning of their married life in Anglesey, and this is going to be quite a change. Well, he said it's going to be a terrible wrench. I mean, it, from a rented farmhouse on the Isle of Anglesey where they were virtually ignored by people. I was talking to somebody the other day just by sheer chance bumped into somebody whose brother lived in Anglesey said they saw William buying a burger at a van there you know and mm. didn't bother him and he wasn't bothered and then to go from that to a 20 room apartment at Kensington Palace to be at the heart of the monarchy and in London mostly then it's it's going to be a terrific uh, Strange. Yes, because the military, for many of the royals, and, and for him as well, has been in some ways a great refuge, isn't it? Great mm. camaraderie. He was doing a job that he loved. You know, he could just be another pilot to a degree in that environment. That's a big change, isn't it? It is, because the royal family, uh, they're, they're limited to what they can do. The military is, is um, if you like, isolated. They're protected, in a sense, from the media and so on, and they can do a valuable contribution to the... Uh, the country, as we've seen with his search and rescue. Uh, we've seen when royalty try to do other things, like Prince um, Edward tried to have his own production company and it wasn't a great success, and Sophie Wessex, his wife, tried to continue in PR, but came up uh, with quite a few obstacles about that. It's very difficult for them to go into industry or a, uh, a conventional job. Um, and there is a sense, though, that he will be picking up a, a lot of royal duties. Yes, I mean, um, there are 15 members of the royal family who work uh, on royal engagements and appear in the court circular, mm. and of those 15, nine, nine of them are over 60, um, headed, of course, by the Queen at 87 and Prince Philip at 92. One of the obvious things they can pick up the younger generation is the long-haul trips. I mean, we're told that uh, they might go to Australia and New Zealand next year and take Prince George, just as Charles and Diana took uh, mm. baby William, um, perhaps a visit to Africa where the conservation work occurs in America where they would be fated. That's something that they can contribute very much and would be a great help to the Queen. And uh, just, it was interesting, listening to his speech last night, he has a natural deftness of touch, doesn't he, about the way he responds to people, to situations. Uh, that's a real gift, isn't it, and one which will stand him in good stead whatever the decision is next. Absolutely. Well, that's the, that's the kind of the Diana touch, isn't it? I mean, she was very um, at ease talking about things like that. Traditionally, the royal family don't talk about personal things in public. And uh, I think one of the regrets, looking back for the Queen, for instance, is when Prince Charles was a little, uh, she missed three of his early birthdays. I mean, she very much had to put duty uh, first. That's the way it was in those days. And family life second. It's very interesting how Prince William and Kate marry the two. And, of course, there's a great link, isn't there, with conservation, where you're looking forward to the... Uh, um, the future of the planet for, for future generations and you've got your own mini contribution to the future generation. And that was the link he made last night. And um, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for joining us.